for us, our business is actually one of the business most impacted by the current urban migration trends. Uh, because as you can imagine, one of the biggest challenges you have is housing deficits just simply continues to balloon in those sort of cities. And so for us, it's very important that we start coming up with innovative strategies to not only address the deficit, but in terms of creating the homes, but also in terms of being able to address affordability challenges that people have. And uh, beyond just that, we have to start thinking into the future, uh, looking at sustainable developments, uh, because this migration is going to continue. And so it's very much important for us to develop our, develop, to make our projects and our developments sustainable enough that as the population continues to go, it still continues to sustain them with the right housing and the right level of infrastructure. Thank you. Well, the innovations are twofold. Number one, it's innovations in terms of how you build. Uh, so in terms of how you build, we need to introduce technologies that reduce the cost of ownership. So in terms of infrastructure, we need to introduce uh, things like renewable energy that reduce the overall cost of uh, managing the infrastructure over the life of the property. In addition to that, we need to start creating innovative approaches to home ownership. So for example, we started schemes like the rent to own, which I'm sure you are familiar that the Lagos State has already pioneered that. And so those are some of the innovations that we're looking at. And beyond just that, we're also looking at special partnerships with financial institutions to be able to offer long-term mortgages. Our philosophy with regards to affordability is that affordability is defined primarily by how long it takes for people to be able to pay the property. So it doesn't matter the price if the time to pay is short. So for us, we're trying to look for ways of being able to extend the time it takes for people to actually own a property. I think number one thing here that the government can do to help rural urban migrants here is create more job opportunities. Because when you create more job opportunities, you give people the capacity to actually find a home for themselves, to make a better life for themselves. Uh, the primary role of the government is not to be the one that provides the jobs, but to be the one that stimulates the opportunities for those jobs to be created. For example, within the real estate value chain, there are significant jobs that can be created if you give people the opportunity to actually develop beyond uh, just the typical traditional real estate related rules. For example, as the real estate begins to expand, you'll have financial intermediation. Banks need to employ more people. PMIs need to employ more people. Uh, you have your architects, your consultancies, they need to employ more people. So there's a whole gamut of, of job opportunities that are created outside of the government sector.